Hey guys, welcome back to the Small Arms Pistol Academy YouTube channel. Uh, today, I just want to talk about the CERT pistol and actually adjusting your lasers. So up here on the wall, you can see that I do have a target on the right, one on the left. We're going to be using the target on the right. And when, right now, um, you can see up here, there's a little switch. Yep, right here on the gun, there's a switch. So if I have that switch right now, you can see I have a prep trigger or excuse me, a laser, and that's just called a prep laser. So as I begin to squeeze my trigger, that laser is going to appear on the wall. As I squeeze that trigger all the way through, there's a second dot that will appear. And you can see that those are not lined up. So what I need to do is first adjust the, the actual laser all the way over uh, to be matched up with my sights the correct way. Then I need to move my actual prep laser so that it falls directly below. So up here, what I want to do is get rid of my prep laser because I'm not concerned about that. So what I'm doing is pressing that towards the muzzle and that shuts off my prep laser. So as I squeeze my trigger now, there's no prep laser. Now what I have to do is actually align your sights on your target so that you can shoot and have everything matched up. Now I'm gonna try to get behind this camera and show you guys how to do this. Um, this is gonna be really weird. So right now you can see how my front sight posts, so this one way up here, what I'm trying to do is get it so that it's in between my rear posts. So what I'm gonna do, just so you guys can maybe see it, is put a coin up here. And what I'm doing is just canting the muzzle of my gun down until my front sight gets under there. So it's gonna be easier now, so you have an idea of what I'm doing, is bring it down. And now when I squeeze my trigger, if my front sight post and my rear sight post is equal height, and I have the same amount of air on the left and right hand side, when I squeeze my trigger, I should have a dot right there at the top of my post, but I can see that the dot is super low. So what I need to do is actually adjust it by taking my small Allen key, and sticking it right inside here. Now, as far as movement for this, if I want to go up, I need to move that clockwise. So here we go, it's in here. I'm gonna go clockwise and I'm just gonna rotate it like a half turn. And we'll see how far that actually brought it up. You guys are not gonna see my alignment on my sights right now. I just wanna see where it is. And it's a lot easier not trying to align it on the camera. I'm still low, so what I'm going to do is bring it up higher again. Okay. Let's go ahead, try it one more. All right, it's still slightly low, so I'm going to adjust it up a little bit more. And that last one, I only did about a quarter turn because it wasn't super low. All right, that's acceptable. I'm going to keep it right there for a minute. Now, it's also going the wrong direction for me. So when I go to pull the trigger, it, it's not terrible, but it's slightly off to my right. So I'm going to adjust it. If I wanna move it to the left, I actually have to move it counterclockwise. So let me do that. And to move your windage or which direction left and right you're going, you have to use this side one. So what I'll do is take my Allen key, the same Allen key, stick it in there, and then you're just going to adjust it. So I went counterclockwise because I want to move it to the left and I'm doing this in smaller rotations and I'm also going to increase my distance. So I'm going to back up a little bit. It actually looks when I backed up, it looked like it was moving too far. So I'm going to bring it back to the right of hair by going clockwise this time. Okay, so now when I adjust my sights, so I have my front sight and rear sight with the proper alignment right here, and I pull my trigger, I want my dot, to the laser, to actually appear as if it's just above my front sight. That way I can visually see it. I don't want it to be hidden, so I do want that to be slightly wow. above here. Now, what I'm going to do is tip the gun back so you guys can see this, and I'm going to pull this switch right here back towards my rear sight. And you don't have to use pressure when you do this. This is very light. Move it backward to slide it back. Now what's going to happen is I have my trigger prep laser, which you guys can see, and I'm just going to move it up to this target on the right-hand side. And now when I squeeze my trigger all the way, I have another dot that's going to appear. And you can see that those are not matched up perfectly. They're almost at a slant. 
So I'm gonna move further back. I'm gonna engage my trigger a couple times and I just wanna see how far off these are. All right, so as I increase my distance, basically what I have is too far of a gap. It's about two inches between those two. They should not be that far off. So what I'm gonna do is actually bring up my, my uh, prep laser. So at the bottom of here, I have an adjustment. I'm gonna put this in here. And all I'm gonna do I'll try to do this on camera for you, is squeeze my trigger and I'm going to try to hold it right here. And as I start doing that, you can see it's moving down. So I'm going to go back up. All right, let's see how close we are. That's a little better, but I still want it a little bit higher. So I'm just reinserting my key right here. I am going clockwise, which is bringing it up. That's way too far up. I'm gonna lower it a hair. I think I went the wrong direction. Okay, pretty sure that's the right direction. Let's move it back a bit. This is where it starts getting a little finicky. I'm pretty happy with that. That's fairly close. But if you look at those dots, they're also slightly staggered. I want to be right on top of one another. So I do have to move my, uh, my prep trigger right here, the laser, over to the right just a little bit. And where you'll do that is actually on the left-hand side of the gun. So I'm gonna put it in right here. And squeeze my trigger just so I can watch it on my target. So if I'm going clockwise, you can see it's moving it to the left in the wrong direction. So all I'm gonna do is keep holding my trigger so I can get those to match up. And I'm pretty happy right there so now when i go to back up i can make sure that these are still finely tuned for a better adjustment right now i'm only about eight feet away all right so this area that i'm in is my daughter's play space it's just down in our basement um this is not a fancy training studio <laughs> This is not the actual range. You don't need a membership to be here. This is my own house, my own basement. Um, if we go down, you can see I'm wrapping Christmas presents down here right now, guys. You don't need anything fancy. Set your stuff up for your laser training, whatever the conditions. If you wanna use your gun outside, go ahead and bring it outside. If you wanna use it indoors, use it indoors. But that's what I love about the CERT pistol is I can use this in any environment. So what I'm gonna do right now is just back the camera up a little bit. That's pretty good, I think you can see. I'm gonna use that target on the right-hand side right now. I just wanna verify that my lasers are pretty good. I'm gonna do both with a prep trigger and without that prep laser so we can see. Yes, oh, oh, oh. come on, come on. Let's go Girl, I see you over there in the corner Of the dance floor and I know, I know you're acting shy Looking at the corner of your eyes So I pick my heart up off the floor I have all my hits where I wanted I think my adjustment's pretty good I might fine tune it in the future As I increase my distance closer to 20 feet But for what I'm doing right here I'm only working with about 10 foot of distance um, and it's going to be perfect for what I want it to be right here. So what I'm going to do over the future weeks is actually creating different targets for you guys. And I'll be posting links so you guys can print off this target all on your own. And you can run the drills with me if you would like to. 
Um, I'll show you a quick demonstration. I'm going to use one of my own targets, which is that target over there on the left. And uh, it's pretty simple. There's numbers, there's colors, there's shapes. You don't have to use some boring bullseye target like what I was just using. You can use whatever you want. Uh, but I get bored when I'm shooting, so I like colors, numbers, and shapes. If you're doing this with a friend or a family member, uh, kids, if you want to entertain them, you can have them call out different shapes, numbers, and colors for you, and then you try to engage that. If you don't have someone to train with, you can do this by yourself, and you can run it different ways. So what I'm going to do is just run it numerically, forwards and backwards. So I'm starting on number one. I'm going to engage my trigger. I hit number two number three, number four, number five, number six. Now I'll just pick it up going backwards. You can see those weren't perfect. That's okay. Um, as I start playing with this, we can get it pretty good. The other videos that we're going to talk about are all the fundamentals. So when I pull the trigger, I'm going to back this up again, just so you can see this. So as I pull my trigger, if I'm going for the center of this, I'm not actually aiming right now, but watch what happens if I, if I pull my trigger now. You can see there are slashes that are happening up on that target. That's what we don't want. What you should have is a proper trigger pull so that when your dot hits that and it finally breaks, it should be fairly steady right here. Those are looking a lot better. Um, again, you can see I'm only doing this single-handedly so you guys can actually see everything. Uh, but that's what you're looking for is a solid dot, not slash marks up there because that means you're not using a proper grip or you're not using the proper trigger control. So we're going to be covering all the fundamentals. I'm going to be giving you guys different targets, different drills that you can do. You can follow along weekly with me. But the more that you dry uh, train, the better off you're going to be. And again, you don't need to go to a fancy range or have some crazy membership and spend a lot or a fortune doing this. Use whatever you have. If you have the CERT 110 pistol or any of their pistols, use it, guys.